Days after the deadly collapse of a mining pit in Galkago community, Shiroro local government area of Niger State, the Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Dili Alaki, visits the state to condole with the victims of the incident. <laughs> First, he calls at the government house where he is received by the governor of Niger State, Umaru Bago, in his office. The minister announces that the federal government will no longer approve any mining license that does not show any concrete remediation plan. We've also discovered that a lot of miners in the past will mine, they will dig, and after extracting and exporting, they move off to another mine site leaving the pits unreclaimed and those pits now become dangers to the host communities and we've had to record casualties maybe children or even adults falling into the pits unknowingly so we are no longer going to approve any license to any miner who does not show us a plan of remediation so that we reduce all the variables of danger associated with mining in Niger State and in every inch of the land of Nigeria. We can. Governor Bago attributes the high level of insecurity in Shiro and Munya local government areas of the state to the abundant deposit of mineral resources and calls for a census of the licensed miners. As a state in that region, Shiroro Munya suffered a lot of insurgency from uh, bandits, from uh, a lot of uh, bad people. But we know most of it is because of the kind of mineral resources that are there and people are trying to grapple for what they can get. So if we have a census of people who have been given licenses around there, we can rearrange them in cooperatives, you know, and be able to isolate them from these other bad people so that we can also be able to have vigilance on them. It's very, very important. So I like the idea of the insurance policy you are bringing on top. It's very important. Even if there is collaboration with the state government, wherever these mines are, we can, you know, as a state, we get this from them, we can, you know, be able to create pathways access roads into those places and we will know that these people are there. Thereafter, the governor accompanies the minister to the IBB specialist hospital where some of the rescued victims are receiving treatment. Five days after the collapse of the mining pit, efforts are still ongoing to get to the trapped miners although the operations are set to be made more difficult due to constant rainfall and insecurity around the mining area.